saw it um, the other night, man. Um, first of all, how was it going from that main actor to really knowing how you wanted to see it from your eyes? Uh, I mean, I've been slowly thinking about it for a long time. I think as an actor, you're always thinking about, yo, what if you did it like that? Or I would have do it like this, but you're just, you know, you're a little piece or you're a tool within somebody else's vision. You're an and instrument. You're an instrument. I'm sorry. Not a tool. I'm an instrument. Tool is awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> damn, man. I think it's the job done. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. All right. All right. I, that's how you saw it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get the okay. job done. All right, bro. Okay. No, but. I'm but, a power tool, though, right? Power tool, yes. Power I just some basic hammer. No, no, no. Like no. a power. power. Oh, you talking, talking about me? But you said active tool. Yeah, I feel you. We got this. We in this man's minutes. Right, sorry, now sorry. I want y'all to argue about this whole depot conversation. Better than the movie. No, but 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 you know, for, for me, I slowly was you know I wanted to do this. I could do that. You know, what if we did it like this? You know, what I'm saying you quietly start to put together your little wish list of things that you wanted mm -hmm. to do if you ever got the opportunity. So like you know, nine years later, eight years later, you know, growing up, you know, with Adonis, the only character I got a chance to play three times. You know, I had a, I had a, a pretty good handle on what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it right. um, with the fights and you know the artistic swings I wanted to take. But obviously, the story was manifesting itself as I grew. You know, and as I worked with my collaborators. You know, Keenan. Keenan Coogler and, you know, Ryan Coogler and Zach Balin, you know, and, and building, building these interesting characters um, that represent so many people that we've known throughout our lives. You know what I'm saying? So that was a that was a, a cool part to bring that together. Um, Jonathan, I'm uh, also on a podcast called I Hate the Homies that we do out of Dallas. And they uh, one of the guys went to high school with you and mm. just wanted to ask you, man, that scene where y'all was in Dodger Stadium and then it was just y'all. And after it was over, it was the 12th round, how was that saying to you? Oh, man, it's, uh, I mean, it, it's right there in the, in the text, 12th round. You know, do or die, you know it's on. You know, uh, the intensity of it is interesting because uh, when the stakes are high, the emotions are, there's no cap on it. Mm. There's no cap, you know, uh, there's no governor. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very spiritual battle. Uh, uh, yeah, probably, probably one of the most intense uh, uh, experiences I've had, you know, emotionally and physically uh, in the film. Yeah. Man, growing up and watching Rocky and all the Rockies and people saying boxing is violent, I found that you found the art in it. It's not so... That's what you was going for. Nah, no, it gets no, me excited. No, it's it so is, cool, man. though. It's, like excited, it's, it's violent, it's crazy, yeah. and it's hard, but you may... Like, even your slight things, hey, you don't... It's little stuff. Like, how what important was that? It was super important. To the boxing world. And that's what it is super important because, I, you, know, I, you know, when you dive into somebody's world, you know, you got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a visitor, you know what I mean, in somebody else's home. So I got to take my shoes off at the front door. You know what I mean? And it was one of those things where I wanted to respect the thought and the intentionality that comes along with boxing. It's a sweet science, you know? So I wanted to see boxers think, you know, and intentionally do things, set traps. They playing chess in there, yeah. you know? So I wanted to show the fight, you know, the sport of boxing three different ways. So throughout the movie, you know, you start off one way, you know, the second one is a little bit more, you know, violent, a little bit more brutal, and the third one's a combination of both, you know, yeah. and, and, and very personal and really intimate. Um, and, and that's between two warriors that need to get some out their system, you know what I mean? And, and words wasn't going to cut it. Right. So at that point, I wanted people to feel like, hey, man, look, this is the small nuances. Every Everything's intentional. Yes, there's things that are, you know, um, you know, reactionary, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, but but there's there's a lot of emotion and heart that goes into this. And um, and, and using my, my love of, of, of anime, you know what I'm saying, and, yes, and, and bringing that into the mix that just added another layer of, like, love and also, you know what I'm saying, care and, and, and action. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, just, it, it you know, turned out the way it didn't turn out. Straight up. I got to go. Jonathan, on my way out, man, how many times did it take you to do that rope scene? Once. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.